Good morning, sir. So today, our report is all about subtotals, five tables, and five charts. So our topics is composed of one, outlines and subtotals, two, five tables basics, three, five tables options, and four, five table design and five charts. So first is outline. What is an outline? Outlining or grouping data in Excel is a great way to organize and summarize data. This feature nests your information into up to eight levels. Inner levels have the detailed data for the surrounding outer level. So in outlining data, the first step is to sort the data on the company outline, just like in the picture. And then two, on the data tab in the outline group, click subtotal. And then three, select the company column, the column we use to outline our worksheet. Four, use the count function. And then five, check the company checkbox. Six, click OK, and this is the result. Seven, to collapse a group of cells, click a minus sign. You can use the numbers to collapse or expand groups by level. For example, click the two to only show the subtotals. Note, click the one to only show the grand count, and then click the three to show everything. To collapse a group of columns, execute the following steps. So number eight, for example, select column A and B. So step nine, on the data tab in the outline group, click group. And then step 10, click the minus sign above column C. It will change to a plus sign result, just like this. Step 11, to remove the outline, click any cell inside the data set and on the data tab in the outline group, click subtotal and then remove all. Subtotal data. First, click in the column you want to subtotal. Second, click sort and filter on the home tab. Third, select a sort op option just like in the picture. Once the data is sorted, the subtotal can be applied. The next step is click the data tab. Then next, click subtotal. Sixth, click the at each change in this arrow. Next, select the column you want to subtotal. The next step is click the use function list arrow. Usually, you create subtotals with the sum function, but you can also create subtotals using func functions such as count, average, max, and min. The ninth step is select the function you want the subtotal to perform. The next step, in the add subtotal to box, select the check box next to each column that has values you want the subtotal. Be careful when selecting your data. The quick analysis button will not appear when using the CTRL key to make multiple selections. Then click OK. Pivot Table Basics Pivot Table is a table of group values that aggregates the individual items of a more extensive table within one or more discrete categories. This summary might include sums, averages, or other statistics which the pivot table groups together using a chosen aggregation function applied to the group values. How pivot table, table work? When users create a pivot table, there are four main components. Columns, rows, values, and filters. Columns, when a field is chosen for the column area, only the unique values of the field are listed across the top. Rows, when the field is chosen for the row area, it populates as the first column. Similar to the columns, all row labels are unique, values and duplicates are removed. Values, each value is kept in a pivot table cell and displayed as summarized information. The most common values are sum, average, minimum, and maximum. Filters, filters apply a calculation or restriction to the entire table. Steps to create a pivot table. To, ins to insert a pivot table, execute the following steps. Click any single cell inside the data set. On the Insert tab in the Tables group, click Pivot Table. The following dialog box appears. Excel automatically selects the data for you. The default location for a new pivot table is new worksheet. Click OK. 
Steps to change the values field. First, click any cell inside the pivot table. Second, click the analyze tab on the ribbon. Third, click the active field button on the ribbon. Fourth, click the field settings. The value field setting dialog box appears from here. You can select calculation options including sum, count, average, or max among others. Tip, when a field containing numeric value is added to the pivot table, Excel automatically calculates the sum. The fifth step is select the type of calculation you want to use. And the sixth is click OK. Steps to modify a pivot table. First is open the project in Excel. To do this, double-click the Excel document that contains your pivot table in Finder, Max, or File Explorer windows. Alternatively, if you already have the Excel open, click File and Open Select the file that has your pivot table. Second is go to the spreadsheet page to, that contains the data of the pivot table. Click the tab that contains your data, sheet 2, at the bottom of the Excel window. Third step is add or change your data. Enter the data that you want to add to your pivot table directly next to or below the current data. For example, if you have data in Excel A1 through E10, you would add another column in F col in the F column or another row in the 11 row. If you simply want to change the data in your pivot table, edit the data here. It won't be reflected in the pivot table until you refresh the data through the Fourth is go back to the pivot table tab. Click the tab on which your pivot table is listed. Fifth is select your pivot table. Click the pivot table to select it. The next is click the analyze tab. It is the, in the middle of editing reboot re at the top of the Excel window. Doing so will op open the toolbar just below the editing ribbon. The seventh is click change data source. This option is in the data section of the analyze toolbar. Toolbar, a drop down menu will appear. Eight is click change data source. It is the drop down menu. Doing so opens a window. Nine is select the data. Click and drag from the top left cell in your data group down to the bottom left cell in the group. This will include the columns, rows that you added. Click OK. It is the bottom of the window. 11 is click refresh. It is in the data section of the toolbar. If you added a new column to your pivot table, check its box on the right side of the Excel window to display it. Steps to filter by the table. So first step is to click any cell in the pivot table. And then drag a field to the center's area in the pivot table field space. Step 3, click the list arrow for the field you've added as a filter. A list of sorting and filtering options appears, just like this. The items available in the menu will differ based on the field you've added as a filter. Additionally, a search field appears at the top of the filter list. If desired, annually type the criteria by which you want to filter. The fourth step is to select the items you want to use as a filter, and then click OK, just like this. And then steps to slice pivot table. First step is to select any cell in the pivot table. Second step, go to insert and then filter, and then slicer. Step three, in the insert slicer dialog box, select the dimensions for which you, the ability to filter the data. The slicer box would list all the avail available dimensions and you can select one or more than one dimensions at once. For example, if I only select region, just like this, it will insert the region slicer box only, and if I select region and retailer type both, then it will insert two slicers. Then step four, click OK. This will insert the slicers in the worksheet. Steps to create a calculated field. First, click a cell in the pivot table. 
Next, click the Analyze tab and then expand the Calculations group if necessary. Click the Fields, Items, and Sets button. Select Calculated Field. The sixth is, type a name for the calculated field in the Name field. Click in the Formula field, enter a calculation using the fields in the list and or custom values. Tips, you can also enter your own values in the formula. For example, if you could find a monthly average by adding an existing field and then dividing by 12. And then the last one is to click the OK. Steps to format a Pivot table. First, click anywhere on the Pivot table to activate the Design tab. Now, click on the, click on the small drop-down arrow in the Designs to scroll to the end. Third, here click on the new pivot table style. Now, a pop-up window will open new pivot table style. Rename the pivot table in the name field. Select an element to format and click on the format button. And in the end, click OK to create your style. In case you want to keep the style for future pivots, just tick mark the option in the end as mentioned in the screenshot. Pivot charts. A pivot chart. <laughs> pivot charts. A pivot chart is similar to an ordinary chart created in Excel, except that a except that it plus a, pri a pivot table's information. Like pivot table, like pivot table reports, pivot charts are dynamic, which means you can change a pivot chart by updating the the values in a pivot table. Steps to create a pivot chart. First, click any cell inside the pivot table. The Analyze and Design tabs appear under Pivot Table Tools on the ribbon. Second, click the Analyze tab in the ribbon. Then third, click the Pivot Chart button. The Insert Chart dialog box lets you, lets you cho choose from, from a variety of pivot chart types. Some chart types will be better at displaying certain data than others. The most common types of charts are column, bar, line, and pie. Column and bar charts work well to compare different sets of data against each other. Each other. Line and area charts are great for showing trends over time. Pie charts show different categories as parts of a whole. Fourth, select the type of chart you want to use, then click OK. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know.